I'm gonna break something. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here with the special Christmas edition of Scrawlero Roller Box. If this is the first time you've ever heard of Scrawler Box, Scrawler Box is an art subscription box. It's right there. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't know what an art subscription box is, it's basically a box full of art supplies you probably have never tried before. Or you have tried it before. Who knows? It's a mystery every single time you open your box every single month. But it's something that comes to your house every month or gets delivered to your mailbox or P.O. box. Gets delivered there, you pick it up, and then the mystery awaits inside. So I can't wait any longer. Let's open it up. Exacto knife is here to save the day. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Feel like the salt guy right now. So look at this, nice and neat and candy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> First of all, I want to talk about this, and I want to talk about this. This is a bookmark that Scrawler Box sends every single month, and it has everything that is in this month's box. So that means I get to look at what the art supply is and if I want more of this art supply, for example, if I want more Spectrum Noir of the Spectrum Noir line, if I want more of their brand, I can go on Amazon, or I can go to Michaels or your local uh, art supply store and I can go pick up more stuff. Or you could just get Scrawler Box and keep getting all some stuff. <laughs> I love turtles. They're so cute when they try to bite me. But look at this, it's a really awesome art print, so if you need some art prints to fill up your wall, Scrawler Box is the best way to get that because they send me art prints and I can check out this person's art all over their social media or their website, it's all in the back right here. Let's talk about our first item. Reflection of the camera again. Hello, Inception. Okay, <laughs> so this is the Spectrum Noir Art Liner Set. You can see we have these different types of liners and the thickness on their tips. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's get a couple of those. All right, as you can see, we've got two different liners here and both tips are different size. So in my hand, I have the, well, if I kept the darn things on there. Uh, I have 03 and 05. They're probably two of my favorite thicknesses when it comes to lining artwork. This is a compass, a Statler compass. Now this is really awesome because if you are a fan of putting circles all over your work, then this is your best friend. Well, this is this is what architects use and I, I've been wanting one of these. I've had like a small little protractor I've been using for my circles on my artwork on if you follow me on Instagram, but I've been using circles to like put as a background thing this is, this is your best friend. If you don't wanna do a whole background, you just wanna do a circle of color behind your character, these are your best friends. Oh my gosh, thank you, Scrawler Box. Ooh, <gasps> shiny, okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. oh my goodness. And then I have an Artline Gold Metallic Marker. Remember how I say if it goes like this? It's a paint marker. <laughs> So I open it up. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. If you keep pushing down on the tip like this, the paint will flow down to the tip and then it will be this beautiful gold. I'm so excited. And then I have an Artline Supreme Metallic Marker in this blue. <gasps> Ooh, -hoo -hoo. sorry, let's just do a test. Ooh. Then Scrawler Box is super nice enough to go ahead and send me paper along with all the art supplies in the box so I can test it out and use it for an actual design, so thank you. Now my all-time favorite thing about Scrawler Box, all-time favorite thing, this is why it's my favorite art subscription box, is what's on the back of the bookmark. On the back of the bookmark is the Scrawler Challenge, and the Scrawler Challenge is where they challenge you with Oh my goodness, I'm looking at it right now. They challenge you with this awesome prompt that you have to use, all the art supplies that were in the box, and you have to use this prompt and interpret it in your own art style and your own creativity. And that's the challenge. But the challenge for this month is born from bubbles. Born from bubbles. We have the prompt for the scholar challenge. Now, I want to go ahead and do the Scarlet Challenge, Born From Bubbles, but I also want to give it a little twist of Christmas to it, because as you can see in the background, and my shirt, look at my shirt, you're jealous. Let's throw a little bit of a Christmassy touch to it, and let's do this drawing prompt, and let's jump right into it. 
What I wanted to start off with was trying to figure out how to use a Statler metal compass. Now, I told you I used a protractor for a very long time, so it was really interesting actually using a real compass. I have never, I mean, I have had to have a compass for my set design class a long time ago, and I barely used it, but it's Still, it was it was fun to use it. I use my um my scale ruler more than I used my compass, but it's really cool that you can have this tool to make the perfect circle. So the perfect circle can be mastered with a compass, and I really enjoyed that because with my protractor I could only go so big, and now with that I have the compass, I can make really really big circles all over my pages. So for the prompt for Born From Bubbles, I was thinking about what could be born from bubbles. And I thought of, um, I don't, I didn't watch it, but I saw the seahorse in Percy Jackson. I think it was the second movie, correct me if I'm wrong. But I saw the seahorse and I thought it was awesome. And it wasn't a seahorse, but it was an actual horse that was part mermaid. And I thought, ooh, I want to do that. And I wanted to make it like a carriage horse as well. You know, when you go down Main Street this time of year for Christmas, um, you see all the carriages and you see the horse um, that's pulling the carriages for the, the, going, the carriage rides to and from Main Street. So I thought of a Christmas carriage horse that's a seahorse born from bubble. <laughs> I said, oh no, he takes them around carriage rides around Atlantis. Okay, so, but let's talk about the two colors I had to use. The two colors, the two metallic markers I got to use. The gold was beautiful. I mean, working with it, you guys have no idea, unless you get one, how beautiful it is to work with. I mean, look how s solid and pretty that gold is. And then to even... Go branch out more the blue and the gold actually complemented each other so as soon as I put blue on top of the gold oh my goodness it, it was amazing how they were complementing each other and the blue stood out more when it was on top of the gold now let's talk about the spectrum noir fine liners I use them for cross hatching and it did come with a brush tip pin so that's really nice and I found that I really liked using the brush tip pin like out of the whole set because it was a very sturdy brush tip pin. It wasn't really flexible like what you're used to if you work with a brush tip pin. So I really enjoyed the brush tip pin out of the whole set. But these are really good fine liners. I didn't feel like I used them for cross hatching and I didn't feel that they were overbearing or scary. I mean, fine liners never should be scary, but that's how I feel about brush tip pins. You know, they intimidate me. So these are very, non-intimidating fine liners if that makes sense at all some art i don't know about you guys but some art supplies intimidate me but i really enjoyed spectrum noir i really like the brand spectrum noir and i actually was in michael's the other day and i saw that spectrum noir is having a whole line a whole shelf dedicated just for them it's a great brand if you want to start off small into the alcohol markers and then your fine liners then spectrum noir is the way to go i mean I love the way I use my 005 to do my cross hatching all over my seahorse and I I love the way that I was cross hatching there was no smudging there was no difficulty using them <laughs> I, I just come to these problems and when I'm using certain art supplies but I wasn't having any problems with the spectrum noir markers and I actually went over my lining more with the gold marker because I was obsessed <laughs> and I was obsessed with my blue metallic marker they're just they were beautiful and they were shiny scrawler box thank you so much again this was the perfect Christmas gift oh this could be the perfect Christmas gift. And you can get your own Scrawler Box subscription down below. I'm gonna put the website right here as well. And I'm also going to put it down below in the info box. Go click on it and go check out Scrawler Box because it really is worth it. And you know what? It's Christmas. We've got about, what, three days till Christmas? So we got three days to Christmas, so it's never too late to get your family member that's obsessed with art or your 
a friend that's obsessed with art or your boss I don't know <laughs> but just this is this is the perfect gift Get them an art subscription box. Thank you, Scrawler Box, once again for a whole year of 2017 Scrawler Box openings. I've been doing these this whole year and year before that in 2016. So thank you, Scrawler Box. It's been a pleasure working with you, and thank you for the amazing boxes. But yes, other than that, I'm gonna go, and I hope you have a most wonderful, happy, happy Christmas. Go check out Scrawler Box, and I will see you all later. Bye! Do, 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 do.